The Gorilla Alien One of the more rare and exotic variants of the Xenomorph, the Gorilla Alien is the result of local wildlife from the planet Zivan, namely a gorilla being infected with a facehugger. As the marines set down and begin exploring, they come into contact with four armed purple ape-like aliens. Heading right towards them, the marines get ready to shoot. Standing down, however, as they quickly notice they were actually running from something. The marines then spot what exactly that something was. The Gorilla Alien. Swinging from the trees and as ferocious as any xenomorph we have seen before. In appearance, the gorilla alien has larger hands than the human-born variant, using its tail in a more functional way for traversing the trees and socially. The gorilla aliens appear to work within a group to take down prey. More notably, the gorilla alien has the ability to spit acid. Rather than simply bleed it, the gorilla alien can actually utilize its acidic blood as a means of offensive weapon. It doesn't appear to be any less as corrosive either, as shown when it begins burning through the hull and warheads of the marine's dropship. The gorilla alien's brief appearance leaves it open for speculation on whether this variant forms a working hive, with a queen in command and praetorians by her side. However, considering we have seen almost all xenomorph variants function like this, it would be highly likely. So the Gorilla Alien was a toy by Kenner, with its signature miniature comic from Dark Horse as well. An interesting comparison and point for discussion is the Gorilla Alien did not take on the four armed traits from its ape-like host. To compare, the Pred Alien takes on the dreadlock appendages which doesn't appear to give any added function to the creature. One would surely think four arms is better than two, especially in such a vicious creature such as the Xenomorph. Perhaps the percentage of DNA the alien retains from the host simply couldn't support this, but I thought it would be worth mentioning. So were you a fan of this toy, or indeed this particular type of alien? Would you want to see it make a return to the public eye, maybe in an upcoming film? Personally, though I like it a lot, I think this is a xenomorph variant that should remain either in the comics or the video games. It lends itself really well for a game adaptation, but in the movies I just could not see it translating well on screen. But as always, let me know what you think down below in the comments section, and if you did enjoy this video then please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more in the future. If you think this video is worth it and you want to support the channel then please head on over to my Patreon page, the link is in the description box. I've been Mr H, and until next time, I'll catch you in the comments section.